Welcome. Uh, coming to you from EZ3, the number 3, dbiz.com. Currently uh, successfully replicated the uh, zero point energy battery. And this uh, short video will give a uh, summary of the results. Let's take a look here. Go ahead and uh, connect the leads. Remember, this is the uh, iron pyrite in the center uh, with the magnesium uh, core wrapped in sodium silicate. And we also have a, a copper exterior. And I put um, wire coming out from the side and also have a wire in the center. Let's go ahead and connect the leads right here. See, currently we have zero volts. And go ahead and connect this one right here. All right. Now if you take a good look there, you can see the meter has gone up to just about half a volt. I'm going to put a background light on here. We're coming at half a volt. And this is a constant steady voltage. That's the good thing about this. As you can see, this voltage pretty much stays the same. Which is pretty amazing because this is very reliable. As you can see, there's no other wires connected here. This is a full-on zero-point energy reproduction battery. And um, it's coming just from this uh, piece of iron pyrite with the uh, activated charcoal and sand in the, uh, covering uh, around the iron pyrite. And um, we're getting a good constant, um, pretty much just a little bit over half a volt. Now what I haven't done, and which is what uh, Hans uh, Feineken, or I think it, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Hans has done, was he would, act, he would add water to here and it would increase the voltage. So right now I have a little bit of distilled water here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, add water to the, um, to the activated carbon. And we're going to see what happens here. So I'll uh, see if I can get this lined up here so it's nice and clear. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and add some water here and see what what we get. It's going up. Just as predicted. See, she's going right up. Coming up to almost a full vault probably. And I've only added a few drops of water, probably just under a half a gram. Still climbing. Still climbing. Let's add just a few more drops of water here and see what we get. See how far we can get. Not too much. It seems less water seems to work best. That should just about do it. Once again, the voltage here, still climbing. Still going up. It seems about a milligram of water seems to work best. Still going. We're up to 8.59. Climbing, still climbing. The amazing thing about this is the voltage is very steady. Um, the small little, uh, basically, earth, whatever you call it, zero point energy battery, earth batteries, uh, steady voltage. And that's what's so amazing about this is the voltage is a constant steady voltage. And that's uh, very, very good because it means reliability, uh, stability, and, and current, which is pretty cool. Uh, currently up to 8.83, still climbing, still going up. And this is just about a milligram of water. Um, this is really, really handy. Uh, basically, you use this for soldering. Um, I got it off the internet. Um, it's very, very cool. It's like a syringe needle at the end. Very good, precise water delivery. And I found it to be very effective uh, for this sort of uh, research. Okay, we're coming up to almost uh, 9.0. She's still climbing up. 8.95, still going up. <clears throat> and uh, we'll take a look at how wet the um, charcoal mix is here. <clears throat> the consistency, because there's sand in here with activated charcoal. It's like a um, like a wet sand, like on the beach. So if you go down the beach and feel the wet sand, that's exactly what the consistency feels like, is a wet sand. 
and which is good because that means the sand uh, absorbs and holds the water. Okay, here we go. We seem to be leveling it out now, uh, still going up, still climbing, 9.04. So we went from about 7, 7, uh, well, 0.777 to um, almost a vault now. It's still, it's still going up. So it's almost, this small little thing here made with only rocks charcoal and a copper cap who's putting out almost an entire vault, eight, one volt of uh, power DC, which is pretty amazing. Up 9.13. Anyway, I estimate it'll probably go up to about a vault, probably in about another 20 minutes or so. And so, uh, that's pretty amazing stuff when you think about it. As you can see here, I'm, uh, it's at a, uh, not a sense, not a sensible, uh, sensible voltage, but, uh, Anyway, uh, this is just a short video and uh, showing that the uh, proof of concept here does work. The technology is very real. Um, once again, these can be put in series. If you wire a whole bunch of these up, you can get five, six, seven volts, uh, more than enough to drive a small motor or a, uh, a bunch of LEDs. But the good news about this is this new concept with the uh, insulated silicon. It's um, preserving the magnesium because a lot of the problems, the early research problems with the magnesium core would corrode. But that problem has been solved now, which means theoretically this battery could go for a very, very long time, maybe for years, just on simple water. So, um, once again, thank you for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for updates. Uh, final right here at about uh, 9.22. So, um, that's not too bad with only about a milligram of water. And as you can see, even when it was dry, I was still getting 0.777 volts. So the water just basically increases the voltage. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, don't forget to visit the uh, website at www.ez3, that's number 3, dbzid.com. So that's EZ, the letter E, Z, the number 3, B, I, Z, dot com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.